had a great many dreams, but at last they all came down to this. I didn't want to waste myself. I could do nothing myself, but I had a little property and I could help with it. I had even a little beauty. Don't think me pain for knowing it. I knew that man of genius always had a terrible struggle with puberty and neglect at first. My dream was to save one of them from that and bring some charm and happiness into his life. I prayed heaven would send me one. I firmly believe that Louis was guided to me in answer to my prayer. He was no more like the other men I had met than the Thames embankment is like our Cornish coast. He saw everything that I saw and drew it for me. He understood everything. He came to me like a child. Only fancy doctor. He never even wanted to marry me. He never thought of the things other men think of. I had to propose it myself. Then he said he had no money. When I told him I had some, he said, oh, all right. Just like a boy. He's still like that. Quite unspoiled. A man in his thoughts. A great poet and artist in his dreams. And a child in his ways. I gave him myself and all I had that he might grow to his full height with plenty of sunshine. If I lost faith in him, it would be in the wreck and failure of my life. I should go back to Cornwall and die. I could show you the very cliff I could jump off. You must cure him. You must make him quite well again for me. I know that he can do it and nobody else can. I implore you not to refuse 